You know, what's interesting, and, and you are uh, an, uh, an expertise, Matthew, in uh, appellate and appeals uh, and appellate law, um, he has a number of things that he's going after. Essentially, I put them into two categories. One category involves uh, the judge abusing his discretion by not uh, sequestering the jury, not uh, moving it to another jurisdiction, any number of issues involved, involving jurors and also some juror misconduct in there as well. And then there's prosecutorial misconduct as well. So I want to start on the first part. Um, first of all, explain to us how difficult it is to get something overturned on appeal, but also the chances he might have in this particular instance in terms of not moving this to a different uh, jurisdiction. Well, listen, it's very difficult, and the reason is it takes a lot of sophistication and skill set uh, that not every, you know, trial lawyer uh, employs. This is a specific skill that you have to be able to do. Not only that, this is a very notorious case. And what do we know about notorious cases? They usually set up for bad jurisprudence. It's exactly the product of appellate law. Okay, so abuse of discretion is certainly at play here. And not only is it just abuse of discretion, I mean, that sounds like it's bad, but it's a really legalized um, operative thing in the eyes of the law um, on, on certain decisions, you know, that they operate within um, uh, the parameters of how laws are set, that the judge weigh in all the necessary things. And if so, did he do it adequately? Did he do it correctly? Did he weigh it on the right factors? So very sophisticated, you know, very integral work um, and it requires a lot of skill, and I can understand why he's struggling. This is not easy um, to be able to do, especially if you, if you don't have the means to being able to get it done.